As if battling a global pandemic weren't enough, the world is also facing a severe protein shortage. Now one Israeli food tech company based in the Golan Heights has a groundbreaking solution to this problem. Grasshoppers. And there is a biblical link. Take a look. We are here on the beautiful Golan Heights where some of the most groundbreaking food tech in the world is happening right here and coming from an unlikely source for some people. Where are we right now and what are we going to see today? You just entered the world's first commercial grasshopper farm and that's the future of protein because it's healthier for humans and it's more sustainable to grow. And we are about to see how we grow them and maybe even have a taste. Each okay. room like this has about 70 cages of grasshoppers. About, you can be up a thousand grasshoppers in one cage. That's a lot of grasshoppers. So this is part of the magic, Eric. This is okay. actually wheatgrass, wow. all right? We grow it ourselves in, in another place. And mm -hmm. this is actually the food of the grasshoppers. They eat it, they grow very wow. healthy and very rapidly. All right, they, they eat a lot of it. Yeah. And this is part of our magic. And, and, our and you may say that actually the grasshoppers eat superfood. Exactly. Correct. And you can taste okay. it, by the way. It's, yeah, you can, you can taste it. Okay. A lot of people uh, use it in their green shakes in the morning or protein we will shakes. Do that. Now, it's very, pull it's my very mask down for yeah, a second. Yeah, 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 okay, here we go. <laughs> go. Go for it. It's good for the grasshoppers, it's good for us. No? Very good. The grasshoppers have good taste. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Before we go on, the first question I have to ask is why grasshoppers? A lot of people at home might be saying, grasshoppers, oh my gosh, that's edible. Why grasshoppers? How did you discover this? Well, actually, the story started about um, 40 years ago. I was born in a kibbutz in Israel. And as a young boy at the kibbutz, my grandparents used to tell me stories from the 1950s. Israel used to suffer from locust worms, grasshoppers flying in and yeah. eating all the crops. They used to run to the fields trying to scare the grasshoppers away. Wow. At the same time, they saw other Yemenite and Moroccan Jews coming and collecting tons of grasshoppers and eating them. So as a young boy, I learned that grasshoppers are both food and they are kosher. Wow. So they're not kosher? Yes. yes. They're a very clean insect, right? Absolutely. Correct. The cleanest. Correct. They eat only fresh grass with no pesticides, like no fertilizer, right. so it's super clean. Already today, 2.5 billion people across the world consume grasshoppers as part of their diet. So they are very high in demand across Africa, Asia, and Central America. Yeah. The problem is that today, the supply comes from collection in the wild. Uh, okay. So availability is very limited to about four, six weeks a year. Yeah. Prices are very high. In this facility, we can grow them year round at a much more efficient way. This insect is 70% protein. One of the wow. highest protein count in nature, especially in, uh, in, uh, in insects. Mm -hmm. And two, these guys can live in a million uh, individuals in one place, one meaning it, it's called wow. a swarm. From all the grasshoppers family, there's only seven species that does this, okay. which we call locust or yes. arbe in Hebrew. That's yeah. what we call. So basically, this is a locust. Okay. Species is migratory locust. All right, Locusta migratoria, and they because they swarm, they are ideal for intensive farming. Yeah. Meaning, as, as much as you crowd them more, okay. they're more resistant to, to disease, et cetera, et cetera. So the more, the better. Correct. People at home might be watching right now and saying, grasshoppers, how can you eat grasshoppers? Number one, they are not alive when you eat them. And number <laughs> two, hey, John the Baptist in the New Testament, in the Bible, we know that he ate locusts and wild honey. Really? Exactly. Yeah. And also in, 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 um, in, in the Bible. Yeah. Because on Leviticus, they are mentioned as kosher food. That's the only yeah. insect that is recognized as kosher. I will tell you that it's also a matter of sustainability because today, 25% of greenhouse gas emissions around the world come from the meat industry. Grasshoppers, while producing them, contribute on, uh, reduce uh, gas emissions by 98.8%. They also reduce water waste by 1,000 times and arable land usage by 1,500 times. So this is a very efficient animal to, to grow. Well, gentlemen, this is a big moment for me and for everybody at home. We are going to eat grasshoppers. We're going to do it. Uh, drawer, what do we have here? We'll start with the, with the biblical way, because in the Bible, they ate them as a whole. So these are whole, dried, ready-to-eat grasshoppers, and you can okay. eat the whole thing. Well, let's now, see. 
Uh, let, let me just show you. This is a package with 4,000 grasshoppers. That's about one kilogram, two pounds of grasshoppers, ready for shipment to restaurants in Europe. Well, wow. now we have a chance to actually eat them. Right. Okay. We can do two things. First, all right. Uh, you can eat the whole thing, but I suggest you remove the wings because they get okay. stuck in your teeth. And I'll we teach don't want you that. exactly. No, and no. I'll teach you how to pray before you eat them. Very important. Absolutely. Prayer before my meal. Yeah. So okay. Please repeat. You can just throw it out away. Okay. Just repeat after me. Okay. Shehakol. Shakol. Nihia. Nahia. Bidvaro. Bidvaro. Everything is done by God's voice. Amen. 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 Here it goes. Amen. What do you think? It's good. Does it taste like a bug? No, not at exactly. all. Exactly. No. It's food. It's food. The healthiest protein you ever had. This is good. Yeah. And protein after you exercise, after you work out, is also a good thing. I'm not kidding. It's not bad. These are gummies. This is a nutritional supplement, gummies made of grasshoppers with honey. So what we're eating good. here is a very healthy product that John the Baptist used to eat. This is John the Baptist diet. Wow. It's and a biblical food. John exactly. the Baptist, locusts and honey, grasshoppers and honey. And tell me if you can feel the grasshopper inside. Because that's one of the advantages grasshoppers no, have. This, this is no, a no, gummy. taste, taste okay. it. Do it. Can you taste it? Of course. Texture, flavor, smell. It tastes like a gummy. It tastes great. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, give me another Honey one. flavored. Folks, if I'm, going, if I'm going for seconds, you know it's good. <laughs> Troy, this is important. You were telling me Pepsi, Ikea, the Seattle Mariners, all incorporating grasshoppers into their products. Well, insects in general, some of them do use grasshoppers. And since they need neutral taste and flavor, grasshoppers are the solution for them. So Pepsi and Doritos. Ikea uh, replacing the meatballs from beef to insects. And the Seattle Mariners baseball team. Yeah, they serve the whole insects as a snack at the, at the ballpark. Yep. And, it's, and it's doing quite well. Uh, it sold out for three years. <laughs> it's catching on in America, yeah. in America. Amazing. So since IKEA are doing uh, meatballs, we are doing sausages with grasshopper protein. Okay. So those are the sausages. Wow. It's a combination of beef and grasshopper protein and we can fire up the grill. Folks, you don't get to be six foot five awesome. without eating lots of different foods. You're gonna grow your hair. <laughs> yes. Here you go. Just put uh, you hair on my that. chest, as go. they say. Go. Okay, like guys, this. bon appetit. Bon appetit. I'm in. L'chaim. L'chaim. To the grasshoppers. Mm. Pretty good, huh? Mm. That's delicious. Mm -hmm. And that's and beef kidding. with the grasshoppers, so we get much more protein than a normal sausage. That is very that's good. That's healthier for you. Wow. More sustainable. This is very good. Mm. My guess is John the Baptist used to eat a lot of those. Yeah. <laughs> Tour, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Hadi. Thank you very much. Pleasure Israeli, you. Israeli innovation, groundbreaking, happening right here in the Golan Heights. Amazing to see. Gentlemen, thank you. Incredible. Folks, I was blown away by the vision and passion of the team at Hargol Food Tech. Israel is changing the world through companies like this. You see the link there on your screen, so be sure to join our team at Christians United for Israel for the premier pro-Israel event in the United States every single year. And hey, you can do it from the comfort of your living room because we will be coming to you online this year with our Kufi Virtual Summit. So check that out. Be sure to follow us on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and hey, during these difficult times, hang in there because the God of Israel will never leave you or forsake you. Until next time, God bless you from the Watchman team. And remember, never hold your peace.